The Galaxy S20 Ultra is gonna be a beast of a gaming device. Now here's why. So Samsung has finally sent out invites for its unpacked events in San Francisco. Of course, we'll be there. This, we presume, is for the Galaxy S20 line. Now you're wondering, why the S20 and not the S11? Because we had an S10 last year. Well, simply because Samsung's decided it's a new decade, so we're going to the 20s, and also to showcase the jump this devices will have. Now in this video, I'll be talking mostly about the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and the Ultra is kind of a different naming nomenclature compared to what we had last year. So for reference, the S10e will be the S20, the S10 will be the S20+, Plus, and the S10 Plus will be the S20 Ultra. And that's the device I want to focus on. The S20 Ultra looks like a behemoth of a device, and it's got a lot packed into it. Now, this dropped in earlier today from Max from XDA, uh, stating some things that he's found about this device. It says the S20 Ultra 5G, talking about the 5G variant, will keep an SD card slot, so that's still coming back. That's actually good for a lot of people. And you will have variants in terms of storage from 128 to 512. Uh, and here's the kicker here, RAM going from 12 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes of RAM. That is a whole lot to play with. And you're thinking, well, not a lot of games might optimize this. Well, that may be true, but that means that your system should run really, really well. And that showcases the big jump we had from last year, where 12 gigs of RAM was the maximum for the Galaxy Note uh, 10 device. And this time we're going to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So you can do more with, uh, with your gaming and you can actually basically run a very smooth system. Now, a couple of other things to mention as well. The S20 Ultra will pack a 5,000 milliamp battery. That is the biggest size battery in a Galaxy S device we've ever had. And this will be coupled with the 45 watt charger. If you remember, we tested the charger uh, or the 45 watt charger last year, and we saw some really great results. And they're looking at zero to 100% in 74 minutes. Now, it might not be as fast as what Oppo has thrown out there, but this is still pretty good and I think I'm excited about this. Now, processing. This device will be powered by the Snapdragon 865 processor in some regions and the Exynos processor in others. But we do know what the Snapdragon 865 does. Now, we got to do some gaming on the Snapdragon 865 and it showcases about a 35% jump uh, in the GPU, 25% in CPU performance giving you better and smoother gameplay all around. So that is something to take note, and I think is going to be very, very interesting with this device. You're gonna get a lot of game performance here. Plus, the GPU drivers on the 865 will be updatable, so you can actually get better performance as you move down the line. So think about games like PUBG, for instance, which optimization is always key. You can get this fully optimized on your Galaxy S20 Ultra, and I think you're going to definitely love this. Now, another thing to note, of course, with this device is the fact that it comes with a 120 hertz display. This will be the first Samsung device with a uh, refresh rate higher than 60 hertz, and this is going to be really critical for your gameplay sessions. Imagine how good, and remember how good, the Galaxy S10 was last year. We did our gaming videos on there. This thing ran really smooth, really well, but of course, having a higher refresh rate, uh, again, matching what uh, Asus has with the ROG displays, uh, this is something to note. And you know Samsung is gonna make sure this is gonna be probably one of the brightest displays on the market. So your gaming sessions are gonna be really, really good on the Galaxy uh, S20 Ultra, and you're gonna get some really, really good performance overall. Now, there'll also be some new camera elements to this device as well. We do know that the S20 Ultra will pack the 108 megapixel sensor from Samsung, will have a 48 megapixel sensor for the ultra wide, and will also have a periscopic and a time of flight sensor. There's a fifth sensor, which we do not know about, 
but I'm sure that will come into play as well. So it's going to pack a lot of camera features, which include 8K recording, which of course the Snapdragon 865 supports, and uh, from indications, it's going to be locked at 8K 30 frames per second. There's going to be a director's mode. There are lots of new modes in the camera. I can't wait to try them out. I'm very excited to see what the Galaxy S20 Ultra brings to the table in terms of performance, gaming, battery life, heat temperatures, all that fun stuff. And I'll be at the event, of course, on the 11th to capture content for you guys. So let me know what games you'd like me to feature besides Call of Duty Mobile and of course, PUBG. Now, I wanna give a big shout out to Concept Creators, um, Ice Universe, um, on leaks as well as also Max from XDA for doing all the hard work for getting all this kind of information which I can share to you and give you my thoughts on the Galaxy S20 Ultra in terms of gaming and what it brings to the table. Thank you very much guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment.